All right, in this video, we're going to talk about memorizing invoices. Okay, so why would you want to memorize an invoice? Um, I have a couple clients that are um, alarm monitoring system. They do alarm monitoring, so they charge their clients monthly a flat fee. Um, not necessarily every client gets the same flat fee. It's different for each one, but they have the memorized transactions in there, so that once a month, the invoice is automatically created, all of them. Um, some other monthly invoices, if you have a subscription basis that you're charging customers for. So if you're doing, for example, a magazine subscription or newspaper subscription, you have in here um, in February, all of the February invoices that need to be created on February 1st because that's when their subscription is due. Um, or perhaps you have all of them, you know, for uh, it, all the March invoices or that get entered because the March subscription, everybody who who uh, whose subscription up is up in March. Okay, so there's a couple different reasons to memorize invoices. Um, so I'm going to go in here and we're just going to choose a previous invoice, choose to memorize it. Okay, so that way um, we we don't have to re-enter the invoice information. Okay, so here um, it's uh, invoice, we're actually, let's change this, let's go ahead and say it's a service and we're going to talk about, um, we'll just create a new one, monthly service contract, okay, and put it to the design income account. Okay. All right. So the monthly contract, it's a uh, hundred and one dollars a month. No tax. This is the invoice that I want to memorize. All right. So what I do is I come up here under edit, I say mem memorize invoice. All right. Now, right now, um, you have a couple choices. You can say, add it to my reminders list. Do not remind me, which means if I ever want to go find this memorize invoice, I'll go find it in the tra memorize transaction list. Or you can automate the transaction entry. How often do you want to do it? You want to say, I want to do it daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, twice a year, all these different choices. We're going to go ahead and say monthly. So the next bill date will be on the 31st of this month. Number remaining, however long your contract is with them. So let's say your contract is for 10 years and it's once a month, so you have 120 remaining. Days in advance to enter. So this is if if you are sending the invoice dated the 31st, but you want to get it out the door a little bit early. So you want them to enter as of the 21st. So 10 days early, they're going to go into the system and uh, you'll be able to print them out at that point. But the posting date is going to be the 31st. Okay. Now, if we had some groups here, you'd be able to add it to the group. And we'll go into the, to the groups right now. So this is how you memorize the transaction. Now, if you go up to your lists and you go down to your memorized transaction list here, you have Babcock's Music Shop Invoice, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new group real quick for this. Monthly invoices, automate, monthly, next one is the 31st, number remaining, 999, because this is a group one. Days in advance to enter, 10, okay. So once you have your monthly invoices here, you can drag and drop it around, move that one under the monthly invoices, and you can uh, produce the group. So enter group transactions. So you could just double click on this and all of them would be entered. So what will happen if it, once it comes time, you know, how we have the settings here, to automatically put the transaction in. What will happen is when it comes time to have those invoices entered in, the first on that day when you open up QuickBooks, it's going to say, hey, you have some uh, automatic transactions. Do you want to enter them now? So you go ahead and say yes. Depending on how many transactions you have, it could take a little bit of time. I have one client who has over 3,000 monthly, and I think she sits there for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Opens the mail, you know. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's, um, very possible to 
it's very possible to uh, run all those monthly invoices and not have to keep track of them separately. Okay. So that's how you memorize an invoice.